Want to control your DMX lights with your mobile devices? Today, let's look at how to connect EasyNode Blue via Bluetooth in just a few simple steps. EasyNode Blue supports both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections, with Bluetooth allowing the device to stay connected to the internet. There are two apps that perfectly work with EasyNode Blue, our Wi-Fi DMX Pro and the renowned Luminaire. Now, I'll guide you through connecting and controlling your DMX lights using both apps. First, power on the EasyNode Blue, then connect your iPad to the EasyNode Blue Wi-Fi hotspot. The default password is pknight.wifi. Once connected, open your browser and go to 192.168.4.1 to enter the configuration interface. In the configuration interface, find the BLE name option and select Wi-Fi DMX, BLE for Wi-Fi DMX Pro, then tap Save. Next, switch to your router's Wi-Fi hotspot and open the Wi-Fi DMX Pro app. Tap the icon in the top left corner and select Connect Bluetooth. Find the Bluetooth signal named Wi-Fi DMX 14196 and tap to connect. The signal indicator on EasyNode Blue will flash rapidly, indicating a successful connection. Now you can easily control the color of your DMX lights by sliding the fader. Next, close the Wi-Fi DMX Pro app and reconnect to the EasyNode Blue Wi-Fi hotspot. Open your browser and go to 192.168.4.1 again. Find the BLE name option and select Blue DMX BLE for Luminaire, then tap Save. Then, switch to your router's Wi-Fi hotspot. Open the Luminaire app, tap Connections, and select the Bluetooth option. Wait for it to search and find the Bluetooth signal named Blue DMX 14196, then tap to connect. When signal indicator on EasyNode Blue flashes rapidly, indicating a successful connection. Now you can control the color of your DMX lights by sliding the fader in the Luminaire app. When using these apps, due to the Bluetooth caching mechanism on Apple devices, it is recommended not to frequently switch between Wi-Fi DMX Pro and Luminaire applications, as this may cause Bluetooth cache conflicts. If you encounter this issue, you can try resetting network settings or waiting for the cache to refresh.